गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट आर्ली पैम्फलेट्स डिस्क्राइबिंग अमेरिका इट इज नॉट एनी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड देर इज ऑनली द नेम ऑफ द पैम्फलेट्स एंड द पैम्फलेट आर्ट्स एंड इट इज ए बोर्डिंग सब्जेक्ट एनी वे whether it is boring or not or whether it is a story or not we have to follow the track of english american literature anyway and now come to the topic early pamphlets describing america and we will start from columbus columbus first letter to louis de santangel who is this louis de santangel he is a spanish treasurer who aided columbus's plan to search for a short route to india by convincing ferdinand and isabella he arranged money for columbus you know the story that columbus tried, had a plan that uh, he wants to find a shorter route to uh, i mean sorry shorter route to india but uh, his plan was discouraged even in his own country and then uh, he did not get any aid from anywhere even in portugal finally he get the help of isabella and ferdinand from spain so uh, who convinced ferdinand isabella to help him to fund uh, columbus's journey and it was louis the sumtangel and columbus uh, when discovered america and he, there was just miscalculation he did not discover america he find that it is the he feel uh, he uh, find that it is india actually it is his misconception and he wrote about his experience and about his as adventure and sent the letter to louis de santangel so it is very important letter this letter on the part of columbus has great value it was printed and circulated within weeks of columbus's return to spain so you can uh, imagine how uh, just famous it was it was published in three languages 12 edition of the letter were distributed around europe <laughs> now what does it describe it describes the moment of discovery the settlement description of flora and fauna and kidnapping of some natives who were later employed as interpreters columbus described the people as foolish naive and gullible yeah of course of course in every uh, colonial history you will find that the colonial uh, rule happened there only there the colonialists can settled who were the people are gullible foolish naive and of course the people who betrays their own countrymen even in our indian history you will find and in everywhere colonial history the uh, aboriginals the indigenous peoples are always foolish naive and gullible and that's why colony this thing can happen this colonization now next we will talk about amerigo vespucci he was an indian italian born spanish merchant explorer and navigator who took part in the early voyages to the new world and america was named after amerigo not after columbus because columbus did not feel that it is america it, uh, it is just a uh, short route to india so there will some part of india and but amerigo vespucci uh, was convinced was confirmed uh, assured that it was not india it is some other uh, new land and from his name this new land was named as america now his letters were also proved important documents for early american history of course these letters the first uh, after the exploration of this new land these letters help the people the people who are waiting for the explorers to come back and tell about the story suppose i am uh, suppose some the space ship is going to mars or the moon and now people wait for the coming back and their experience in the moon their experience in the mars so this thing happen in every discoveries and here it is also true the french voyager samuel de chamblain arrived in today's montreal canada and his official report illustrated with maps dates sources so this early explorer explored the different parts of the new land they set, uh, they ventured into the different parts different island and they write they wrote about their experience about the voyages and the, about the natives and they become important documents for the later writers and later voyagers elder richard hakluyt the little is known about uh, him we will talk about the younger richard hakluyt george peckham 
द हिज डॉक्यूमेंट्स द वॉजेस एंड कॉलोनाइजिंग एंटरप्राइजेस ऑफ सर हमफ्रे गिलबार्ट डिस्कोर्स कंसर्निंग वेस्टर्न प्लांटिंग इट वॉज एड्रेस्ड क्वीन एलिजाबेथ नेक्स्ट यंगर रिचार्ड हैकलोट he included the pamphlet of elder richard hagglud about whom uh, i don't get any information anyway if you can get uh, you must inform me he included a pamphlet of the elder richard hagglud with his own and published both the pamphlets in the name the original writings and correspondence of the two richard hagglods now next william strachey wrote A true repository of the work and redemption of Sir Thomas Gates get upon and from the island of Bermuda. Quite a lengthy name. It describes the incident of a shipwreck due to the heavy storm, and you know, this can be the influence of Shakespeare's The Tempest. In Shakespeare's Tempest, we found this description of a huge storm and the shipwreck of the ship. and shakespeare the uh, you can say that shakespeare gets the theme or inspiration uh, from william strachey's the description maybe now we'll talk about the themes of the early pamphleteers all of the early pamphleteers envisioned the new world as a new scope means of release and revival their idle condition in england uh, changed into new exuberance coming to the new world and there are something like pian describing this praise song among the, uh, them the writing among uh, another theme of the writing was the rivalry of the english explorer with the two other great contemporary power portugal and spain and it is also true in our uh, colonial history not only english try to um, uh, overpower and try to make a subordinate or for trade business other power were also there mainly french portugal and spain and so in the pamphlet is found not only their experience but also the story of the rivalry over the domination of power over the on the new country over the trade power between the various sea coast powerful countries powerful nation like portugal spain france england now this power struggle is also described in their Uh, pamphlets they had changed life they were able to escape from hunger and poverty immigrate immigration to a new land hard work in planters and all these things are described in these pamphlets now among the late pamphleteers there were there are more hopeful than the early ones william crasso wrote the epistle dedicated about virginia alexander whitaker wrote good news from virginia from all of them For all of them, Virginia was a promised land, and we know that in 1607, 1607, Virginia was Jamestown, Virginia. Who settled? Who set up? Smith, Captain John Smith. 1607, Captain John Smith set up Virginia, Jamestown, and for all of them, Virginia was a promised land for the immigrants. They described the fertile land and its associated beauty and magical power. these works may have no such great importance as literary pieces oh, of course they are not uh, in the sense that literature but they have great historical values because they are the only documents to explore the american history early colonial history and their flora and their fauna their situation everything was described in these pamphlets and they are important documents for the later writers and later explorers so they have great importance from historical point of view and also from the um, other now ralph hamor in his a true discourse of the present state of virginia compares it with the garden of eden all these thoughts and words tend to glorify the imaginary america the american dream There are many examples where these writers feel like they are the Adams in God's paradise. Robert Rich, news from Virginia. There is no fear of hunger here. For corn much store here grows, much fish the gallant rivers rivers yield. In truth, we doth suppose God stores of fowl, of venison, of grapes, of mulberries, of chestnut, walnut. Actually, they want to say that there is enough exuberance. There is 
enough food stock there is just enough luxuriousness no hunger no poverty and life is just like the garden of eden robert beverly was a clerk of virginia company he was also an early historian and politician he wrote history and present state of virginia it was published in 1705 in london now colonial william bard another uh, pamphlet he wrote history of the dividing line run in the year 1728 all these works are an account of the colony and its settler and the gradual development of their lives in america so even though these literary works have no literary value in that sense of literature but they are important documents of early colonial history of america and they are the source of information and knowledge for the later explorers okay so these are the early pamphlets and early pamphlets and there are so many uh, uh, beside them and i cannot include all of them anyway they are the most important ones thank you